One of the big challenges of the 21st century is answering the question, how do we end violence against women? Well, it starts with the mistreatment of women, according to a viral video called hashtag Dear Daddy. Hey guys, Davison here. So this is my response to a video put out by Care Norway, and Care is an organization that fights for women's rights in all countries, called Dear Daddy. Now, Dear Daddy, trigger warning, is a video about how the tolerance of the way women are treated sometimes by men creates future generations of males that are harmful and abusive and degrading towards women. So basically it's a video against verbal aggressions against women or behavioral aggressions or microaggressions against women. And it's a plea that future fathers address problems of tolerance of anti-woman or anti-female behavior amongst men to benefit their daughters. And it's a very well-made video. It makes you feel very empathetic towards the plight of a lot of young women. As a woman myself, it does remind me of the way that I have been treated by some men. I'm not going to say all men because there are a great many wonderful men that I know. But it is true that as a female, you will inevitably at some point be called a bitch or a whore or some guy will try to in some way overstep um, sexual boundaries with you. Um, and the origins of this behavior may indeed be societal tolerance of anti-female behavior. Of course, the comments section beneath the video itself pretty much justifies the existence, of course, of feminism. So much hatred towards women or women who speak out against the mistreatment of women. I always want to know what these posters are threatened by. Do they believe that something like this is an accusation? Because it's not saying that it's all men that necessarily mistreat women. It's just addressing the men that do and the societal tolerance of things that seem banal or innocent, like, oh, just get over being called a bitch, but really they have profound long-term effects. For instance, it used to be acceptable to say something was gay. Oh, that's so gay. Not realizing that that was degrading towards people who were homosexual. And it was popular to call things gay back when there was less tolerance towards homosexuality. So in saying that, no, it's not appropriate to say something's gay when really you mean that it's silly, we actually took a step towards sexual freedoms and and uh, and sex the equality for sexual orientations so this is sort of the same thing it's it's saying that if certain words are constantly being used to degrade women we should stop saying them because then we're one step closer to the fair and equal treatment of all females another thing saying that women should just suck it up and accept abusive behavior and language is confusing because then you're imposing your behavioral standards on women, not wanting them to impose their behavioral standards on you. So it creates this kind of impasse wherein it's two groups fighting each other for supremacy as to what should be the standard for how things affect one emotionally. Is it that you should just let people call you a jerk, a slut, a whore, a cunt, a bitch, because it doesn't mean anything. That kind of male approach of like, hey, he's a he's a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, man, I'm a big man. I'm going to be the, you know, dominant one and not let it affect me. Or is it that that language has never been acceptable? That kind of power grab is damaging and it shouldn't be the way that people treat each other. They should approach each other with love. I think that is always the answer, that we approach each other with love and that we don't put up with nonsense. Um, but that seems to be like the, the underlying argument in the comments section is that it's no big deal the way that language is used against someone and that 
if you make it a big deal, you are the weaker one or you're the one who's creating problems. It's, you know, victim blaming, right? Um, equality is about there being no victims because there's no negative behavior to begin with. That is my opinion. So um, my name is Davison. You can find me at Davison Video on Twitter and Instagram. And I also make really funny videos on LOL Perps.